Chew Gamer here with another episode. Okay guys, I'm going to show you exactly how to play any Dreamcast game on any Android devices. I always do a load of Apple tutorials on how to play um, um, emulators on the Apple phones and the Apple iPads and that. So I just thought I'd show some love to the Android community today and do a Dreamcast video. So this will allow you to play any Dreamcast game on any Android device. Okay, let's just get started. First things first, you want to hook up the device you want to put the emulators on to your computer. Okay, so once you hook that up, you should get a screen like this. It will either say card or phone. Now, we don't want to put nothing on our SD card, we want everything to be on our phone memory so click onto your phone and then in the phone memory you want to create a folder called DC okay as you can see it there where the arrow is okay once you do that you want to click into it and then inside the inside the DC is where I'm gonna you're gonna put the 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 data folder which I'm gonna leave a link in the description box once you downloaded that to your computer drag the data folder into the DC folder and that's very important so once again guys inside the phone memory you're gonna make a folder called DC now inside the DC folder you're gonna to want to drag your bin files in there and I'm gonna make a fold it's my the folder I'm uh, you're gonna drag into it is called data okay now as soon as you hit the link in the description box the data folder should download to your computer so just drag that into the DC. Now that's part of the step done there. Now also what you want to do if it doesn't come already because I'm going to make it where when you download it from the cloud it should already come in a recast folder and have the games and everything done but if it doesn't for some strange reason within your phone memory again make a folder called recast okay you see how it's spelled r-e-i-c-a-s-t recast now within recast you want to do a folder called data and games now this is where you put all your games guys in within the recast folder you make a folder called games and that's where you put all your your games and make sure you got a folder called data with all the bin files that you need now once that's done you're pretty much ready to go all you need to do now is download the app recast from the from, from the play store I'll show you exactly what you do Go into Play Store. In the search bar, just type in Recast. And you should get the emulator. And you should see something like that. Like a six sign in blue. Just download that to your Android device and you're pretty much good to go so once you've done all the folders on your laptop or your desktop what you want to do is go back to your phone the app you've just downloaded 
gonna do is I'm gonna go through the exact steps for you guys. So you just get the camera right a bit. Okay, so my one's in Seagar. And then you go into recast. Now from here guys you want to click these three lines on the left here, that icon. Then you want to go to path. Then from path you want to go to browse. Now from browse it should all be in your phone memory. You shouldn't have to do nothing else. Just see DC here. You select DC. Then you just go to select current folder. And then now we want to go for the games guys. I'm going to leave a link in the description box for some games as well if you want to put it. So if you want to put any games in, you just download the games, connect it to your computer again, open the recast folder, open the games folder and just drag any games you want into the games folder. Okay guys, so from here now you go to browse, this is where we're going to get our game find your recast folder mine's is there and once I click recast folder I'm going to select games then select current folder and that's it guys you're ready to go click the three lines out icon in the top left again then go to browser and just to check it go to boot dreamcast bios and once you press boot dreamcast bios this is what you should get and that's where you know everything's set ready to get busy now just I was going for the touch screen now I was thinking I was into the future now from here you want to select the date the 8th of March for me today and the year and just press select now you can hook up a controller Bluetooth controller to it and it will work fine or a wired one doesn't matter And that's it. Now from here, just go to back. Go to end here. Now we want to play the game. So all the games that you have in your games folder will display here. I've only got one game. Crazy Taxi. Let's see how this goes down. Working like a dream, guys. I was thinking, where is my on-screen controller gone? I had to tap the screen. Famous Sega icon there. Loving it. I'm loving the Dreamcast. Bringing back a lot of memories. I remember my first Dreamcast game was House of the Dead 2. I had the gun. We're back. It's crazy taxi two. It's I was amazed by the graphics then, Dave. I'll just show you guys it working. I'm using a uh, Samsung S5 and it works smooth at the moment. No problems. So you don't really need nothing fancy. As long as you've probably got a standard S4, S5 and above, it should work okay. Yeah. Here we go. No, no, I can't remember how to play this. 
I'll drive. Oh, there you go. That's how you drive. Alright, guys, you can see it working perfectly, okay? So, once again, guys, let me load this a bit. What you want to do, make it fold up within your phone memory, DC. Within the DC, you put the data, bin file folder. And then you want to make another folder called recast, put that again in your phone memory. Within the recast, you want to put a folder called data and games. Now within the data folder, that's where the bin files will lay. And then the game folder, you put all your ROMs. Okay, I'm going to leave a link in the description box for games and the bin files. Till next time guys. See ya.